Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God, Chapter 8, Killing Shrews. Even though the damage dealt by Shai Fang was negligible, Shrews still awoke from his deep slumber. Anyone would be enraged when they were abruptly woken. I'll flatten you, puny human, Shrews bellowed. The entire cave shook as Shrews stood. With giant stride, Shrews walked toward Shai Fang. Not giving Shrews any chance, Shai Feng took out an explosive berry and tossed it in front of Shrews path. Speed was always a rock giant's weakness. There was no exception, even for a special elite. Shrews only had a larger size, a stronger attack, and more attack methods. Though his movement speed and attack speed were slightly faster, under the slowing effects of the explosive berry, he was still slow as a turtle. On the other hand, Shai Feng's movement speed and attack speed were very fast due to his 16 agility. Shai Fang immediately circled to Shrew's back and began his fierce assault. A series of damages appeared above Shrew's head. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. They were followed by another chop that dealt six damage. It had to be said, Shrew's had a frightening defense. Even with the amplified damage from Thundering Flash, a level two chop had only dealt six damage. A level one chop would probably only deal four damage. Shrew's only turned around after receiving a series of attacks. It lifted its mountain-sized foot and stomped down toward Shai Fang. As a reincarnated person, Shai Fang had experienced countless battles in God's domain. He did not have a thread of panic in him when facing Shrews. With a step, Shai Fang nimbly evaded toward Shrews' back, avoiding Shrews' sluggish attack. Shai Fang then followed up with a series of mad cuts. When five seconds had passed, Shrews regenerated 18 health, leaving him with a remainder of 886 health. Half of Shai Feng's efforts had gone to waste within an instant. Compared to common ones, elite monsters or above which it regenerate 2% of their health every 5 seconds during battle. Shrews had six, 900 health, so it was 18 health every 5 seconds. This regeneration had exceeded the damage Shai Feng could deal using normal attacks. Even so, Shai Feng still calmly waved his sword, continuously reaping away Shrews' health. An average person would have already given up on seeing such a high health and regeneration. Shai Feng would not, though. Sixteen points of agility allowed Shai Feng to avoid an attack with ease. His high attack speed also allowed the damage he dealt to mitigate Shrew's regeneration completely. However, killing Shrew's required a lot of time. It was very dull, just avoiding and madly attacking. Dealing out strong attacks was very tiring, both physically and mentally. With each passing second, Shrew's health continuously fell. Fifteen seconds later, once Thundering Flash's amplifying damage effect disappeared, the damage Shai Feng caused sharply reduced. Each strike of his sword only dealt one damage, and Chop only took away four health from Shrews. Shai Feng immediately fell into a bitter battle. Another five seconds passed, and Shrews once again regenerated 18 health. However, Shai Feng had only dealt 17 damage within that five seconds. It wasn't even enough to make up for Shrews' regeneration. Shai Feng's wrinkled his brow. As expected, it was hard to kill off Shrews. It was just a pointless endeavor without sufficient damage. Do I give up? Just as Shai Feng was thinking so. I want to flatten you! Shrews roared as he stomped his foot. Suddenly, the entire cave shook. Sharp stalactites fell from the cave ceiling, one after another, covering the entire cave. It even has a party wipe skill. Seeing the bad situation, Shai Feng moved quickly away from Shrews' side, dodging the falling stalactites. The stalactites continuously fell in great number. Their speed was quick as well. If a party came into this cramped space, there wouldn't be a, a, any place to dodge. They'd be definitely party wiped. If it wasn't for his nimble body and somewhat spacious area, Shai Feng would have been hard pressed to avoid these falling rocks. Shrews revealed an exhausted expression after finishing his skill. Shai Feng's eyes shone. He quickly rushed ahead. Thundering flash. Chop. Minus four, minus five, minus six, minus ten. Suddenly, a series of terrifying damages were caused. Fatigue state. It was a period of weakness that appeared after a boss used a powerful skill. In this state, the boss would have both his attack and defense greatly reduced. With his fatigue state, Shai Feng could see the hope of killing Shrews. Shai Feng took the chance to attack even more fervently. Minus four, minus four, minus four. Each short strike took away four health points while Shrews was under both states of fatigue and damage amplification. During this weakened period, Shrews' regeneration also fell to 1%. By the time Shrews returned to his normal state, Shai Feng had already taken away 15% of Shrews' health. 
The subsequent battle was filled with persistence. Shai Feng would repeatedly attack to make up for Shu's regeneration. Every 30 seconds, he would deal a burst of damage with Thundering Flash, following which he would await Shrew's use of his big move. His party wipe skill was a nightmare to player parties. To Shai Feng, however, it was a chance. As expected, Shrews would again use his big move after a period of time. Shai Feng took this as a chance to blow away 16% of Shrews' health points. Time passed bit by bit. After using five explosive berries, Shrews had 32% health remaining. When Shrews activated his big move once more, Shai Feng took away another 16% of his health. Shrews was quickly left with 16% of his health remaining. Just as Shrews' health fell to 15%, a sudden change occurred. Shrew's body continuously shrunk, his attack and defense reducing as well. However, his movement speed and attack speed kept increasing. This change was very disadvantaged to Shai Feng. Although the explosive barrier was still in effect, Shrew's attacks were becoming faster. He had nearly landed attack on Shrew Shai Feng. Shai Feng was just level 2. Even if Shrew's attack power had reduced, a single hit was enough to end Shai Feng. If Shai Feng died, he'd lose a level and a lot of skill proficiency. It was not something he wished to see happen. Fight! A cold glint flashed through Shai Feng's eyes as he activated gravity liberation. Suddenly, dodging became relaxing. It was impossible to easily give up on a special elite with only 15% of his health remaining. Shai Feng continued to circle and madly hack his sword at Shrew's. Every hit dealt 3 damage, slowly reducing Shrew's health points. 14%, 10%, 9%, 8%, 5%. Gravity Liberation's duration became shorter and shorter. When there was only 7 seconds left, Shrew still had 5% of his health. Shai Fang would definitely be one-shotted as soon as the Gravity Liberation ended. Quick, quick, quick! Shai Fang's eyes turned blood red as his sword strikes became faster and faster. Just as Shrew's had only 10 health remaining. Gravity Liberation ended. Shai Fang's speed dropped sharply and a cold, human-like grin appeared on Shrew's face as he smashed his boulder-like fist down on Shai Fang. Die! The cooldown of Thundering Flash finally finished. Thundering Flash. In an instant, three streaks of light passed through Shrew's body. Minus four, minus five, minus six. Shrew's final ten health were taken away. Boom. Shrew turned into a pile of rubble. System. Special Elite Shrew's killed. Level difference of four. XP obtained increased by 400%. Obtained 940 experience. Shai Feng's experience bar abruptly rose by 27%, pushing him a big step closer toward level 3. After killing off Shrew, Shai Feng searched around in the pile of rubble. The drops of the special elite were far better than the normal elite. Shai Feng obtained equipment, a skill book, and 16 coppers. The reward for challenging higher levels sure are good. Even a bronze shield dropped. I can definitely sell it for a high price. It'd be great if I could grind it a few more times. Shai Feng looked at the blue cross-shaped shield in his hands. He could already imagine how the guilds would be willing to pay a high price for the shield. Rock Iron Shield, Bronze Rank. Equipment Requirement, Strength 8, Equipment Level 5, Defense, plus 21, Defense Rating, 23%, Strength, plus 2, Endurance, plus 4, Health, plus 30. The shield could be considered high quality with such attributes. When equipped, the shield would greatly defeat increase defense. Health would also be increased by 110 points. This was equivalent to one-third of a level 5's warrior's class's health. Using it to dive into level 5 dungeons was more than enough. It could even be used to dive into level 8 dungeons. The skill book was a good one as well. It was a skill that could be used by all melee jobs. Parry. It required a melee weapon to be used. It could block a single attack that came from the front, and it had a cooldown of 30 seconds. Parry was a popular skill among all melee jobs. It was a must-learn skill for warrior classes. The skill had a low drop rate, and it was almost never seen being sold on the market, as it was a life-saving skill. You could activate it at a crucial moment, and it might even help you through a crisis. It was especially true when battling against a boss. If the healers could not keep up, then you could use parry to block an attack, giving the healers more time to heal you. Taking a look at the skill, Shai Feng decided to learn it. Although he could get a better price if he sold the skill book together with the shield, the action was no different than killing the chicken to get the egg. It was something Shai Feng wouldn't do. Shai Feng continued climbing upward after killing Shrews. The bronze shield was worth only a meager amount of money. The real fortune was the secret silver treasure chest. Shai Feng only had four explosive berries remaining. However, he was not even a third of the distance to the peak. It was also very easy to meet up with the monster at the resting points. 
This caused Shai Feng to choose his path more carefully. Half an hour later, after cautiously advancing the entire way up, Shai Feng was finally at the peak of the mountain. The visibility at the top was very poor, with all the white clouds and mist. Shai Feng could only see 20 yards in front of him. On his way up, Shai Feng had used all four of his remaining explosive berries on rock giants. If another monster appeared, Shai Feng could only give up and start all over again. Just as Shai Feng walked ahead a few steps, a few blurry shadows could be seen up ahead. At this moment, an emergency notification came from the system. System. Player has discovered the Lost Lands. Activated hidden quest. Past glory. Temporarily disabled player's communication to the outside world. Unable to leave the map until quest is completed. Crap. Those assassins lied, Shai Feng silently cursed. Those assassins had undoubtedly hit, kept hidden some information. The situation at the mountaintop peak was entirely different from what the assassins reported.